So we have discussed the federalism under the 1956 constitution, 1962 constitution and the 1973 constitution. But what happened after the 1973 constitution was formed or promulgated? Was there no amendments? What happened under it? Was federalism strengthened or weakened under the 1973 constitution? These are the things which we are going to discuss in this module. So federalism was there, the 1973 constitution was there, but during this period from 1973 to 2010, which is the year when 18th amendment was made, there were two martial laws one by General Ziaul Haq from 1977 to 1985 and then by General Musharraf from 1999 to 2002. Then there was the rule of Troika, which meant that it was not the Prime Minister which who had the executive authority or who made the most decisions. Uh, there were three people who were actually making their decisions. So there was the Prime Minister, the President and the Chief of Army Staff. Then there is the duopoly meaning thereby there, there are two people who are, or diarchy, there are two people who are uh, ruling. So it, it is the uh, prime minister as well as the chief of army staff, even when there is the constitution. So federalism actually didn't really strengthen under the 1973 constitution. If we look at the history of Pakistan, we see that most of the time they are either a martial law is there or a general is ruling the country or there is a troika again which means that the prime minister or the electric government is not in power so in 1947 to 58 there was no martial law but 58 to 62 there was martial law then 62 to 69 there was Ayub Khan as president then Yahya Khan as president then again from 77 to 85 there was martial law then uh, from 88 to 97 which was supposedly a democratic period there was the rule of Troika then again there was martial law by General Musharraf and now again there is this uh, diarchy meaning thereby there are two people who are actually ruling the country the Prime Minister and the Chief of Army Staff so the powerful democratic so how many years in the last 72 years does Pakistan has a powerful democratic government who can act on its own? So the only period, there are three periods which you can see where the democratic government had power. So first one was 1947 to 1954, which is seven years. Then five years under Zulfar Ali Bhutto from 72 to 77. And then two years under Nawaz Sharif, 97 to 99. If we take out these 14 years, these are only less than 20% of the Pakistan history. In all the rest of the period, 80% of the period, it was the democratic government were not ruling the country. They were partly or partially in power, but not fully in control. So it was, so it is not really logical to blame democratic governments for all the mess that has happened because they had only ruled for 20% of the time. But, of course, democratic governments are not uh, innocent and they made many mistakes. So, under the 1973 constitution, the first ass assault on federalism was made by Prime Minister Bhutto. The Baristan government was dismissed in 1973 and then the uh, NWFP government also resigned. Zia then, of course, changed the whole dynamic and for a long time, uh, he was in power. He was the most powerful man in the country. He changed the constitution by the 18th, uh, by the 8th amendment. Uh, he introduced the 58 2B, which was he can dismiss the uh, assemblies and he dismissed the Junijo assembly. Uh, president was powerful. President was not powerful in the original constitution, but made powerful by the 8th amendment. So, president could uh, appoint judges, governors, uh, auditor general, uh, president could also, and similarly, governors were also more powerful. So, as in the case of federal government, they could dismiss the provincial governments, 
they appointed the high court judges and other things. And they were not bound by the chief minister's advice. So martial laws actually uh, ended the idea of uh, provincial autonomy or federalism in Pakistan. Even democratic leaders were not ready to accept provincial autonomy. So provincial autonomies were dismissed if they were or provincial governments were dismissed if they are if they were from the opposite uh, party or opposition. So federal government did their level best to have their own governments in all the four provinces. And provincial governments um, were cobbled together so that uh, the real popular party couldn't get to power. So for example, in the 1990s, uh, most of the seats in the provincial, since the provincial assembly were won by the People's Party. But even then, when Nawaz Sharif was in power, uh, they got together all the opposition MPAs, even some People's Party M MPAs also, and formed a government. So this was the way it was going on. Troika was usually for centralization and against federalism. CEOs and sometime president too wanted more centralization. So this was the scenario between 1973 and 2010. 